I'm Rich Dean with West Coast Collector Cars in Oregon. And today, I've got a beautiful 1955 Ford Thunderbird to show you. Now, uh, this particular car has been completely restored. It's beautiful. Uh, finished off in uh, Fiesta Red. You could get Fiesta Red, Raven Black, or Colonial White in 1955 on a Thunderbird. Beautiful car. Wheels and tires, uh, these are, you know, you see these a lot on Thunderbirds, uh, maybe even more so on the little bit later ones like the 58.9s and up into the 60s, but these are a true spoke wheel, uh, you know, very common on the T-Bird. They look excellent and these nice uh, wide white wall tires all around, very classic. All the trim and bright work is nice on the car. You can see all the weather stripping and so forth was replaced throughout the restoration or during the restoration. Uh, someone put an Indian motorcycle decal on here and I was going to take it off. I, I typically do, but it looks kind of cool and I thought, yeah, somebody might like it. And if somebody purchases the car and doesn't want it on there, I'd be happy to remove it for, for whoever wants that off of there. Of course, all the window whiskers and so forth were replaced during the restoration. This car is equipped with power steering, power brakes, power windows, power seat, and the optional windshield wiper squirters. <laughs> so that was an option back then. So this is a pretty well equipped car. This is a uh, soft top only car, so it has a black soft top, and of course it's new, and it's the canvas style, it's not the plastic style. Show you back here now. Uh, back of the seat's nice, and behind this curtain here, it houses the top. You can kind of see down in there, I mean everything was just nicely painted. You have the top up. Uh, you'd be able to see the seat mechanism back there, and everything just looks clean and nice. Very well done. Normally, uh, if I have a convertible, I'll uh, have the top uh, down so that I can show the interior a little bit better. But uh, if you go to the website, westcoastcollectorcars.com, I've got pictures of the T-Bird, of course. Uh, but I've also got pictures of the undercarriage. You want to see that. Very nice, very clean, no rust in the car. Um, yeah, it's just been very nicely done. Uh, 1955, the T-Birds were equipped with a 292 V8. And they produced about 185 horse. They were a little four barrel. Uh, the transmission is a Ford-O-Matic, which is a three-speed automatic in this case. Uh, you could option, if you wanted to, you get a three-speed on the floor shift but kind of like an automatic in these these are cruisers uh, but uh, all very nice beautiful car drives very nicely nineteen fifty five T birds your exhaust exited here through the bumper and typically this would have been originally cut off probably shorter but they extended this and this is actually a good idea because what would happen is rust would kind of form and kind of damage, if not, uh, you know, ruin the, the chrome. So I can see why they would do that. And I just leave it. It looks good like that. To show you in the trunk. Nice spare and finished up under here very nicely wheels, spare wheels painted nicely and mounted correctly. 1956 carried the spare out on the bumper, uh, also commonly known as the Continental Kit. Uh, original jack assembly there, all nice and tidy. All the trenches look nice. Again, all the weather stripping and so forth looks good. Let me try to show you under the mat here if I can a little bit. I can't really pull it up because of the jack and everything, but you can see very clean, very nice under here. Uh, 
So 56 carried the spare out here, and then 1957 uh, went back into the trunk. And a quick story that, that I actually heard, I had a 56, and I was told that in 1955, Ford gave a 55 Thunderbird to Frank Sinatra. He liked the car, but he couldn't fit his golf clubs in the trunk with the spare. So what they did is decide to put, put that put the spare out on the bumper for the Continental kit, which allowed, of course, more uh, trunk space. So anyway, I don't know if all that's true or not, but one of those, uh, you know, those store trunk closes nice. One of those stories that sort of gained a, a little traction, and, and that's kind of in the uh, in our uh, little bit of American folklore, I guess. Interior on this side. Take note the jams and everything. I should have pointed that out earlier. Very nice and clean. Look it up in here. Very clean, very nice trenches. Uh, in here, everything works with the exception of the clock, of course, and the I don't hear anything out of the radio, but the heater does work and all the other gauges work, wipers work and so forth. lines of course I'm always kind of trying to emphasize that how nice they look so this is your 292 V8 uh, which was the only engine for 1955 in a Thunderbird they were a little four barrel produced about 185 horse uh, good run little Little units, power steering, power brakes, your six volt battery, up under the hood, finished. Got fly there. All the chrome here is nice, and you can see how deep and nice that paint is. 1955 had the cross flags. I always thought this was kind of cool. I kind of wish the others had that. They just had a Thunderbird going there, which is cool too, but I love the little cross flags. Engine on this side looks nice. Everything's painted up nicely. Very well restored. A little heater box here. Trenches all look good, as you can see weather stripping and so forth. Up front here, uh, you got the, uh, the nice beautiful chrome bumper and these bumperettes which kind of match the back. I don't know if you ever noticed that, but you know, this is where your exhaust would come out in the back. So that's kind of a nice symmetrical piece. Grill is nice. There's that cool emblem. So what I'd like to do now is I'll hop in the T-Bird, start it, you'll hear it run. I'm just gonna drive it around the parking lot, a couple of loops just so you can kind of see it move under its own power. But uh, very easy to drive, very fun to drive. Uh, yeah, you're probably, uh, <laughs> you're probably only gonna drive this with the top down, but uh, at least, you know, if, if you got into a little bit of colder weather, kind of like we're heading for today, you know, you could put the top up if you, top up if you got stuck in something like that.
Yeah, these little these little 292 V8s, they just run so good. You hear, you know, it starts right up. Very nice driving little car. These had uh, also, I don't know if you need it or not, but these had a telescopic wheel. So you can pull that wheel in and then turn this to tighten that up. Very nice. But uh, no, it's a fun little car. Uh, blinkers or turn signals work. Yeah, but if I can answer any further questions for you about this 1955 Thunderbird, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Again, my name is Rich Dean, and this is West Coast Collector Cars. My number is 503-851-6763, and thank you for watching today.